This is my Photon motor glider that I made. And uh, I used a, this is from Heads Up RC, it's the GF221520. And I think it's supposed to turn about a 10 inch prop, but this is a uh, 11 by 6 folding prop that works pretty good. It's, it's supposed to make uh, around 40 ounces of thrust. This whole plane all up with a 2200 milliamp battery weighs I think right around 30 ounces. And um, flew it today, it flies pretty good. I ended up putting my servos back there just because I didn't have any servo extensions to mount them on the tail. And uh, I have a little bomb drop which is permanent post on that side and in the back there is up inside the fuselage there's a servo laying on its side that has just the regular arm attached to it with a little push rod and when I flip the channel the little rod goes inside and my little bomb here from Dollar Tree which just happened to match the colors of the plane was one dollar I saw it when I was getting my foam and I was like I'm gonna buy this and um when I mounted the motor, I left a little air space up top because my ESC is mounted right on the roof there. And I wanted some air to get in there. But then that left my motor pretty much like right in the damage zone for landing. So I ended up putting this little bumper on there, which actually was needed because I landed and it got pretty scraped up. That probably would have wrecked my motor. Two servos in the wings for the ailerons just running into one channel with a splitter. And my battery is pretty much right on the CG. It's in there, tucked in pretty high. So when I change between my 1500s and my 2200s, it pretty much goes in the same place, and I don't have to touch the trim on the radio. Um, I was going to taper the tail, but I ended up needing all the weight in the back that I could get, so I left it on. And I actually added... 50 cents up there. So this plane's raised in value. And when I built it, um, I m built the noob tube and it was incredibly hard putting everything in the fuselage once it was built through the hatch. So when I built this one, I left the, the seam open until it was completely done. I just had it taped up with uh, scotch tape and, and I'd open it up and add things and tape it back up. And uh, that little button right there is connected to uh, a bind plug that's been cut and had like a momentary switch buttoned into it because I have three planes and my DX5 does not have model memory and I have to have a bind plug accessible so I can just press it and bind it to my other planes. Um, it flies really good. I wish I had uh, a little bit better glide ratio. I think I'm going to make a, another wing for this with like a 7 inch true cord plus inch and a half so it'll be 8.5 inches instead of six and a half inches just because it'll glide better and I want to be able to carry big stuff on that little drop plug which is why it's right on the CG maybe carry like another plane that shoots off and then flies with a rocket future dreams but otherwise it flies really good and I didn't put winglets on it yet I plan on it that's why they're not capped off I just was eager to fly it so I took it out and flew it but there it is.